Hi, my name is Tihomir and I am the content manager at Stratascratch. In this video I will show you how to join multiple tables in SQL. The definition of the reference table is simple. It is the first table that is written in the SQL join clause. When using the left join, it's especially important to know which table will be a reference table. But we will come to that. First, let me show you how joining multiple tables works when using inner join. The question asks you to write a query that will return all cities with more customers than the average number of customers of all cities with at least one customer. For each such city, you have to show the country name, the city name, and the number of customers. The question gives you three tables to work with. And those are LinkedIn customers, LinkedIn city, and LinkedIn country. The part of the code with joins is in this CTE. This is the solution. So I've copied the join part here. If you look at this query, you will see it selects the country and city, and then it counts the number of customers. The most interesting part comes after the from clause. The table LinkedIn country is the first table listed here, so it's considered a reference table. This table is then inner joined with the table LinkedIn city. The joining is done where the column country ID from the second table equals the ID column from the first table. This is how you join two tables, which you probably know already. How do you then add another table? You simply again write the inner join keyword, after which you write the third table you want to join. In our example is the table LinkedIn customers. This table is joined where the column ID from the second table equals the column city ID from the third table. You can think of joining multiple tables in terms of the chain of joins. You list the first table, then you join it with the second table, then you join it with the third table and so on. There is no limit to the number of tables you can join. Since these are the inner joins, only the matching rows will be preserved and shown in the output. The rest will be removed. You'll see that in a few moments. But first, let's go back to the code here. Run it and let's see what will be the output. Here it is. Three rows that show four customers in Berlin, three customers in London and two in Manchester. To get more analytical output and see what I mean by inner joins returning only the matching rows, let's write this query. This query is a variation of the previous query. In this case, it only selects all the columns from all three joint tables. Run the code and let's show the output. You can see there is data in all columns in every row. This means all the matching rows are shown. In other words, the output will show only data that exists in all three tables that are joined. But how do you know if there are non-matching rows? What if there is some other city or some other country where there are no customers? You can't know that if you're using the inner joins. What if you use the left join instead? Paying attention to which table is your reference table wasn't necessary when using the inner join in this query. This is because the inner join returns only the matching values from both tables. However, the left join is the outer join. This means it will return all the rows from the left table. The left table is in this case also the first or the reference table. What about the values from the second table? The left join will return only the matching rows from the second table. If there are rows in the left table with no matching values in the right table, the values shown will be null. Let's go back to the code and see what will happen if all the joins became left joins. So I will change this inner join to. If I run the code and show the output, this is it. So you see there are no matching values in the column ID, business name, and city ID. So you get New York as a city, you get the USA as a country, but you don't get the customers here. Why is that? It's because there are no customers in New York. It's because the table LinkedIn city is the first one in this query. So it's a reference table. When left join with the table customers here, it will return all the rows from the first table and only the matching rows from the second one. Using the left join again as the third table, 
LinkedIn country, which is again joined with the reference table. You have to know your data to determine whether a different join will return a different result. That's why a general principle is if you used one left join, all the remaining joins should usually be left joins too. Why is it important to know what your reference table is when using the left joins? Let's play around with this code and put LinkedIn customers as the reference table. Here's the new code and the output is this. Do you see what is missing? Yes, there is no New York and there is no USA in this table. Why? Because the table LinkedIn customers is the reference table. This is your basis for getting the number of rows. Writing the code like this means you'll get all the customers from this table and only the matching rows from other tables. If you need all the cities and countries from your database, writing the code this way will mean you'll get incomplete results. This is a watch out for any interview question because if you don't choose the right table as your reference table, you can get your answer completely wrong. So, which table you use first is of crucial importance when left joining the tables. Now, I'm going to use the inner join code from the same question. Instead, I'll use the left join and everything else will remain the same. Here is how the code looks like. If you write the code this way, you're saying you want all the rows from the table LinkedIn country, which is also your reference table. The second table you're joining is LinkedIn city, and the third one is LinkedIn custom. I'll run the code and see what the result is. Here it is. Compared to the inner join output, there is one additional row. It's the one showing there are no customers in New York. This is only because the table LinkedIn customers is not used as a reference table. If you had used it as a reference table, the result would have been the same as when using the inner join. This is why deciding which table is the first you join is crucial when using the left join. It can completely change the code output. That's all for now, folks. The main takeaway here is you should carefully decide which table you'll be using as your first or your reference table, especially if you are using the left join. This decision alone can make a difference between getting the correct or the wrong answer. I hope you find this video helpful. There is even more on our YouTube channel, so please subscribe to get all the latest videos. Until next time, bye!